The new iPhone 16 family is finally here and while all of the talk is about Apple intelligence these days, I am actually more excited about the improvements in battery life. Apple was not very specific during the event, but it did say that the iPhone 16 Pro Max has the best battery life ever on an iPhone. And it mentioned longer battery life as a thing for all other models. But what are the exact numbers? And is this a meaningful upgrade or is it all just marketing? Hey guys, my name is Vic with Phone Arena and while we are still waiting to receive and test our iPhone 16 units, we have dug up all the official battery life stats from Apple. So let's see what we have. First, we have the iPhone 16 Pro Max, the most expensive and premium iPhone, and it has the longest battery life of all four iPhone 16 models with 33 hours of video playback. The iPhone 16 Plus and the 16 Pro are both rated at 27 hours of video playback and the regular 16 model gets 22 hours. So this means you're getting 20% longer battery life if you get the Pro Max compared to the Plus and the massive 50% jump if you get the Pro Max over the regular 16. Now, if you're planning to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max from an older Pro Max model, you need to know some numbers. And here is what we have. For video playback, the 15 Pro Max and 14 Pro Max, the two previous models get 29 hours and the 13 Pro Max gets 28 hours. So with the new model, we get somewhere between 14% and 18% improvement. So Apple gives this offline video playback number, but it also gives an estimate for video streaming. The 16 Pro Max gets 29 hours there compared to 25 hours on the previous three generation, so up by 16%. And finally, the 16 Pro Max gets 105 hours of audio playback, up from 95 hours on the previous models, so that is up by 11%. So if you look at things in total, you can expect around 15% longer battery life on the 16 Pro Max if you're upgrading from an older Pro Max model. Now, what about the smaller 16 Pro model? Well, it actually seems to get the biggest upgrade compared to older Pro models. So here are the numbers for the 16 Pro. For offline video, it gets between 18% and 22% longer battery life. For video streaming, it's up by 10%, and for audio playback, it gets a sweet 13% boost. And again, th this works out to somewhere around 15, 16% improvement compared to previous Pro models. Now the big question is what happens to the 16 Plus? This model seems to be the most neglected one in the series and rumors even claim it has a smaller battery than before, which is very hard to explain because the design is so similar. We have to see about that, but Apple estimates that it is a tiny bit better in terms of actual battery life. It has 24 hours of video streaming versus 20 hours on the 15 Plus and the 14 Plus. However, offline video is 27 hours, only one hour better than before, and it is rated to last 100 hours of audio playback, which is exactly the same as the previous two models. Overall, not much of a reason to upgrade with the new 16 Plus if you want longer battery life. And finally, you have the regular iPhone 16 model, which actually gets the worst battery life of all four new models, but it has also improved a bit from previous models. It gets 22 hours of offline video, up from 20 hours on the previous two generations. And for video streaming, it gets 18 hours, which is again two hours more than the predecessors. While for audio playback, it is estimated to last 80 hours, which is the same as the iPhone 15 and iPhone 14. Now, if you come from the iPhone 13 mini, and I guess some people will, you will notice a big boost in battery life, no matter which new iPhone you pick. Even the iPhone 16 lasts nearly 50% longer than the mini. So overall, what Apple has done this year is separate the regular iPhone 16 and the 16 Plus more from the Pro models, which are now clearly getting not only just Pro features, but also longer battery life. However, charging is actually the same on all four iPhone 16 models, which is good to see. They're rated to charge at 20 watts via cable, that's not the good part, no change there. But MagSafe wireless charging is now for the first time faster than wire charging. This is just 
wild. It's the first time we see a company focus so much on wireless charging. In order for all of this to work, you need to get a new MagSafe charger though. So you need again to spend around 50 bucks and it needs to be connected to a power brick that can deliver at least 30 watts of power if you want to get those full speeds. And the upgrade there in terms of numbers is that you will now get a 50% top up in half an hour using MagSafe. Well, previously you only got around 30% to 35% in 30 minutes. The iPhone 16 series battery sizes remain a mystery still. Apple does not disclose those numbers, but the phones are coming next Friday and we will learn the battery size with the first teardown. So stay tuned for that information. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Phone Arena. We have reviews and comparisons coming. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Baby.